three of virtual learning and social distancing, you may find yourself sitting at home trying to come up with some creative activities. So we have an opportunity for the whole family, especially if you love dressing up. Your family art challenge for this week is to reenact your favorite work of art and photograph it. Our family, of course, has quite a few favorites, so we decided to focus on the artists Norman Rockwell, Frida Kahlo, and Pablo Picasso. And uh, now I'm going to tell you about why I chose Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell was always one of my favorite artists growing up, uh, especially in high school. Um, I uh, loved his baseball paintings in particular, of course, and um, actually we produced quite a few of them for quite a few projects in high school, despite my art teacher always telling me to choose something else. Um, <laughs> nothing's changed even today. Um, so uh, the painting I chose was uh, Norman Rockwell's triple self-portrait. Um, and uh, you can see behind me the canvas I used. I photoshopped the painting that I have on here already out. Um, and then you can use a lot of cardboard. Um, I use cardboard for everything. Uh, I've used a lot of it on this, uh, during these last few weeks. Um, so I painted this, uh, this old, um, like old mirror that we had sitting in our uh, basement um, to look like gold a little bit um, and then some cut out cardboard for the eagle on top. Uh, and then basically just found everything else around the house. Um, and that's what you can do too. You don't have to go through the process of painting things uh, for your props, but in, in my opinion, just like Rockwell, it's all in the details. Um, if you look at some of Rockwell's paintings, um, he was truly huge into details. Um, and uh, as you can see in some of these examples here, he loved American culture, and he loved representing just everyday life through his paintings. And that's what I, one thing I love Rockwell about, the playfulness of his work, um, and how a lot of it is very, very family-oriented. Uh, so, have fun with this. Choose an artist that you love, um, and uh, or one that's just kind of fun that you might want to, you know, experiment with. You never know what you can do. I pretended to be the old um, guitars by painted by Pablo Picasso. Now you can also approach this in a more funny way. Uh, if you want to try this, where you choose an artwork that you might just find funny or even absurd. Um, then you can attempt what we did here. Um, I have this banana costume, and so Mrs. Rupp just taped me to the wall. And um, we, we used the outside wall here. It was the biggest wall that we had that wasn't covered in artwork already. Um, and it was a fun way to kind of represent the hilariousness of this, uh, this artwork that sold for $120,000 at Art Basel Miami um, this, this past summer um, by the artist of Mauricio Catalan. Um, literally, a banana taped to a wall with duct tape. Um, and so, what a fun way to commemorate that and uh, to represent that by reenacting it. So give it a try. I chose to reenact a self-portrait by the Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. Kahlo is a painter whose colorful work is inspired by Mexican culture. When she was 18 years old, she was badly injured in, in a bus accident. So as she recovered, she began painting as a way to express her emotions and to pass the time. Her work is a combination of realism, symbols, and the surrealist style. I love how she explores issues like feminism, pain, and identity through her work, and that she also celebrates her rich Mexican heritage. All right, so we had a lot of fun today, reenacting a lot of paintings, mostly by Norman Rockwell. Um, and we did one as a whole family um, called The Great Debate, uh, Harry um, Truman versus, uh, versus Dewey. And um, we even involved her dog, Izzy. Um, and we took Whitney's desk upstairs and put it in Andrew's room. I um, found a bunch of things around the house and um, printed off some photos of, uh, of Dewey and Truman for our magazines and um, just went from there. Alright, so you can just use objects that you already have at home and we cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Thank you for watching Art Basel Miami.